and one of them I'm told is the tenderloin check that out kind of fall off the bun tenderloin there and I'm joined now by April Enan and she is going to tell us a little bit about how it's made how does it start off um well we drop the bread tenderloin and the fries in the fryer mm -hmm. and then uh, once they're done we just kind of make it look as best as we can. It's, it's very, very good. And check this out. We've got our breakfast favorites and, of course, a pony shoe that we're going to be showing you coming up in a couple of minutes. We've got this wonderful tenderloin over here. But one thing I want to ask the cook behind the griddle right now, Tavi, she's been doing this for about four years, cooking here at the Paloma Diner. What is probably the biggest challenge when you're here in the kitchen? When you get a big order, just making sure all the timing of it's all correct. I think that would be hard because you're you're doing the main, the the main meat dish. You're trying to time that out with the vegetables so everything comes out hot. Right. Well, and like sometimes you'll get like a chicken order, and, or or in a big one would be like when you're just starting to go from breakfast to lunch and you have some breakfast, some lunch on a ticket. <laughs> Those can be kind of difficult. She did just tell me that it's really, really weird cooking up a tenderloin in the middle of the morning and I don't blame you. It is kind of weird. <laughs> We've got some customers coming in who are already keeping this this kitchen humming this morning. Coming up on Cage Gray this morning, we're going to be cooking up another favorite here, and it's the Pony Shoe, and talking a little bit about the renovation and expansion here at the Paloma Diner.